topic that's much more important and near and dear to my heart right now is this this new Ze this man from New Zealand who is crowned world lumberjack champion in Milan. And, and so I know you were a champion in the 90 foot lumberjack speed climb. That blows my mind. That's high in the air. But uh, give us your reaction. Let's take a look at this and give us your reaction. So, so. Jack Jordan is on the second side. Oh! So that's uh what do you call that Sean the undercut or uh, so the standing chop this is the steel timber sports series so the lumberjack world championships are actually held in uh, my hometown of Hayward Wisconsin okay but the, the perception of people is you have lumberjacks that are fat burly hairy men you look at these guys and they are fine specimens of athletes yeah uh, these are razor sharp Australian speed axes you can shave with them and they hit they hit the piece of wood precisely in the same spot each time they're remarkable athletes and so um, and by the way they're not making millions they're not baseball players they're not football players but they make good money in these competitions and travel the world so that's you right so, that's yeah not. so this that's is that's crazy i was a little bit younger uh what, you're, you're the middle pole you're the I one on the right is there, a, is there a don't he's, look he's down the one winning. This? are you looking up the whole time so when you're, him, so right when you're going up uh you're looking up and when you hit the line or the bell it's a free fall back down you see and uh, the yeah. rules now looks like that would blow your knee out that coming down like that? Right, and the thing is, it hurts your back, not your knees. So you, all that pressure transfers up your legs into your back. Oh. Um, and but there's the, you see the air, the, the pads there, they're they're pretty thick. Yeah. Um, rules are you got to hit the tree every 20 feet oh, or okay. every 30 feet. So you get a you free, can't fall. Just free fall. You can't just free fall. He was known um, for being the fastest one coming down. That's why he won three times world champion uh -huh. speed climber. I'll say this, Sean. I traveled with Sean. I've been to the Calgary Stampede. I've been to a lot of different races with him. You know, com competitions. He never took me to Milan. <laughs> that that's the, that is the story there. Well, I think we were in the UP, I think. And Michigan. Yeah. Can I say one last point on this? This is part of our great American history, right? Yeah. Our, our country was built on, on, on most all, all men who went into the woods and chopped and sawed these trees, brought them to a mill Absolutely. town, and it built this country out. Uh, really wonderful, fantastic man who now... I have this modern day sport. Will loves yeah. that you brought the Will smile at me for a service. Now you got to do a new thing for Sean. He loves this man up and down. Right. It's like, we, we didn't build America on cat dots. It's, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, like uh, Kirby Smart said, just keep chopping wood. Just keep so, chopping. so Sean is a, a, a world-class athlete. Um, he's going to be hosting uh, Maria in uh, uh, Sunday Morning Futures uh, next, but also he's a beekeeper, and so this week uh, <laughs> he's a beekeeper, and so this week on the Kitchen Table podcast, after lots of different episodes on the Royals, Sean finally said, "I want the uh, world premiere beekeeper on." And so about beekeeping this week. <laughs> yes. So Sean, take it away. So I got I 